Well, there we go, I'm home, and um, it was all very nice last night. I managed to sit in front of the fire, fall asleep, and uh, have a lovely evening. Uh, we're actually now, Sarah's had to go off to work, She's only a few hours just to go and catch up on some bits. They want to play tennis. I don't know whether we can just turn up and grab a court, we'll find out. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when mummy has the car for a week. Fills the boot with stuff. <laughs> As usual, we're in the car ready, waiting for the girls again. Uh, we're um, all back together now and we're heading over to Southampton again, to Ikea. Seems like my favourite place at the moment. Because um, Thomas's drawers fell apart this morning, didn't they? And there's the Ecotristy charger, which I'm hoping will be free because uh, in Ikea you can claim back the £6 that you spend in there. Not done it before, so um, let's see how easy it is to do. I'm gonna win. I've also um, I've got an electric car on charge. I've not done it before. Apparently, if I show you the receipt, then oh, oh, no. oh no, the, uh, I can show you. Da, da, da. So that's very fancy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you say that. Um, so it says uh, six pound voucher be redeemable. I need to show you the email payment receipt, which is what I've got yeah. at the checkout, and then you get the six pound discount. So the there's the receipt. Um, how do I do the electric car charger thingy? Um, he's got the receipt on his phone, like the email receipt. We're just oh. going to have to wait for someone to Okay. Is that it? Don't need anything off me? Yeah, promo people, money £6. And you save £1.50 with the family card as well. Fantastic. Well, the fact nothing fits in my car, that's, um, that's not great. I've got about five centimetres too much, um, well, not enough room in the boot. But um, the charge cost me £4.50. I got £6 off my shopping, so that's cracking. And um, with that extra bit of money, we bought some hot dogs. So I'm back to meet, um, meet everybody else and have something to eat now. Hey. <laughs> 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 Thank you. There we go, quick change of car because uh, we've s the masses of stuff we bought at IKEA as per usual. Uh, it's all gone in the house, which meant a load of stuff has to come out of the house, to go to the tip to make room for it. So that's where I'm heading now. But um, it gives me an opportunity just to, to kind of talk about IKEA really. And um, I'm always really impressed with them. It's 
not just about kind of saving money um, obviously today with the charge I saved some money so it cost me uh, £4.50 to charge up there I then got £6 back at the till IKEA have announced this week that probably not initially here in this country uh, I'm guessing it's probably in Sweden initially but it's gonna become a, a bit of a kind of a company model that at certain stores all their fleet their vehicle fleet are going to be EVs um, and also to take that another step forward again they want to um, favor partnerships with other companies that favor EVs so their delivery companies and um, you know other businesses that they use within their own if you are a business that uses EVs they are more likely to do business with you so that brings me on to the kind of thinking about you know, are, are people naturally ever going to take up EVs? Now there's there's the early adopters, there's those kind of that second wave of people like myself that thought oh there's some money to be saved here but there's also a, a kind of a need if you like for I guess we need to kind of almost force people, I use that word reluctantly but th there's certain people in the world that will not change unless they're forced to. Now don't look at that as a negative um, uh, thing what I'm, what I'm talking about so people like uh, for example if you lived at the top of a high-rise apartment uh, and your nearest charge point was 10 miles away uh, I had quite a good sort of conversation with a subscriber this week that you know he pointed out why would they ever move away from uh, a fuel car because it's more convenient for them to go to a petrol station Put petrol in their car and continue using it like they do at the moment you know, regardless of the costs and everything else so the only way that person is going to leave a, a fueled car is if the incentives are so amazing that it forces them to, to, to change or there's something else that forces them to change now businesses that work with IKEA um, in the future are going to potentially be forced to change their fleets in order to continue doing business with IKEA and I'd imagine for some of them that's quite a large part of their business. The government are forcing people to change, uh, depends what country you're in but there, there are now time limits on when fossil fueled cars are going to be a, a thing of the past so that's forcing people to change. Now I think we need to go kind of hand in hand really forcing people with incentives and that's where I think we are at the moment. The trouble is the incentives aren't big enough to enable that change for people. There's a big discussion, um, well ongoing discussion really about Tesla and how their infrastructure is really it's rolling out now and it enables people not to have to worry about where they're going to charge or where they're heading to because their cars have got such a good range and there's such good infrastructure and it's so quick when you're there it just works and it's getting better all the time. Why don't Tesla let other people use that infrastructure well they have they've said that they're, they're more than happy to open that up to other people uh, other manufacturers but there seems to be a reluctance and I think to be honest that reluctance is it's almost kind of like political within the sort of manufacturers world why would uh, Nissan want to sell uh, you know, a Nissan EV and say go and charge it at a Tesla pump because every time you charge up you're going to see Tesla that's going to embed itself in your mind and next time you're quite likely to go and look at Tesla. What I'm trying to say is there needs to be uh, an outside influence on all these manufacturers in order to bring everything together in order to have a joined up approach when it comes to charging and charging infrastructure somebody else has to get involved and I'm saying that somebody has to be government but maybe somebody else will surprise us maybe there'll be all of a sudden a big joining of manufacturers and they'll all get together and sort their act out but at the moment the infrastructure isn't there in order to force people to change to EVs and um, there's going to be that majority of people still that will say well it just isn't a viable option for me regardless of whether it is or not because all they can see is limited uh, charging infrastructure and where it is so complicated to use in their mind that um, it's not worth the hassle of them changing so um, well done IKEA uh, it's been really really good today and it's, um, it's always good to have that kind of eye opener to see that these big multinational companies they can make a difference and they can bit by bit just increase people's awareness and um, make things better whether you're a customer or somebody who's in business with them and that kind of brings today's video and um, 
and the weekend really to an end uh, but for now if you've enjoyed today's video please remember to like and share it and if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel and remember you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter so uh, for now um, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you again soon take care